All right, welcome to Talk and Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. Today, I want to talk about Ethereum. I want to focus on the merge. I want to talk Ethereum stock price. I also want to talk Ethereum Classic, and I want to explain the merge a little bit, and then I want to ask you guys for some comments down below on what you would like to know more about. I've been doing a very deep, deep dive on this and I still have a lot of questions left. This is an extremely complicated situation. I know most people are taking it for granted that it's all just gonna happen without a hitch and that is very possible, but I am not done doing my due diligence researching this. So let me know in the comments below what you guys wanna know about the merge. So we talk about cryptocurrencies, mostly Bitcoin, but Ethereum as well. And I'd like to dig into Ethereum a lot more on the channel. So if that's content you're interested in, please let me know. And also please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. So I wanna talk about Ethereum's price action. I want to talk about Ethereum Classic's price action. And then I want to talk about the potential for some new tokens that will most likely, almost certainly be coming into existence as a function of the merge. So there will be a fork or multiple forks. This was an article that came out today in the Insider. Ether jumps 11% as Ethereum merge completes final test before transition to a proof of stake network. Okay, so the first thing is, I'm sure most of you know, Ethereum is moving from a proof of work to a proof of stake network. So in a proof of work network, there are miners that mine Ethereum and that takes computing power. In a proof of stake network, there are validators that stake their Ethereum that they own and they're able to validate transactions. So it's two different methods. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. If you want a deeper dive, let me know in the comments below and I can do a separate video on proof of work versus proof of stake. So as soon as Ethereum moves to proof of stake, Ethereum mining will cease to exist. There are other things that are still using proof of work, including ETH Classic. So there will still be the ability to mine, but ETH itself will no longer be mined. So that is a massive, massive shift in the basic philosophy of how this works. And, and the other thing is, I just wanna let you guys know, this is the first of many changes coming to Ethereum. So this is the first one, it's a big one, it's a fundamental change in the way Ethereum is validated. There are several more changes like this to come over the coming years. So Ethereum is a work in process. You know, the co-founder said after this merge, it'll be about 55% done. So there's still almost as much ahead as there is behind. So a lot of changes to come. Uncertainty, I don't love. How However, change is inevitable, so I don't want to make a judgment on this right now. Right now, I'm trying to dig in and understand what's going on. Okay, Ethereum jumped 11% Thursday after the blockchain ran a final test before pivoting to a proof-of-stake protocol. So we will look at the chart. Ethereum has had a massive run-up in the last month. And it seems to be picking up steam over the last few days. Now the market's having a nice run up, the cryptocurrency world is having a nice run up, but Ethereum's leading the way. We will take a look at Ethereum Classic as well because that has gone ballistic. Okay, the so-called Ethereum merge is expected to take place sometime next month. So. The date that they've been talking about was September 19th, and they've been targeting that date. That date has moved several times over the last few years. So this has been pushed back, you know, I'm gonna say a dozen times over several years, but the new dates keep getting closer and closer and closer. So even if it is not September 19th, it does seem like before the end of 2022, this Ethereum merge is going to occur. So there are still a lot of people that don't know whether it will occur this year or at all. But I think the vast majority of people do believe that the Ethereum merge is going to occur and it's going to occur by the end of the year, maybe by the end of next month. Okay, a specific date for the network update will be decided at a developer meeting Thursday. Thursday is today, so I don't know if they mean today or next Thursday. Okay, Ethereum was higher Thursday after the Ethereum network ran a final successful test run ahead of its transition to a proof of stake protocol. So they've been having multiple tests runs. Ethereum proof of stake is the beacon chain. That has been running for quite some time now. They've been merging and merging and merging. And ultimately the beacon change will merge with the existing Ethereum change. They will become one and that will be Ethereum. The second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization jumped as much as 11% to $1,909. It's still around $1,900 right now. So that is up significantly. Again, we will look at the charts. That's a gigantic jump. Okay, then it says a proof of stake network would also lower the prerequisites for validators to use the system. So if you wanna be an Ethereum validator, if you wanna stake your Ethereum, there are other ways to do it, which I'm going to talk about, but 
essentially the vast majority of this network is going to be made up of individual validator nodes and you need at least 32 ethereum so you're talking about somewhere around sixty five thousand dollars right now in order to be your own validator which also would require the hardware and the expertise necessary to do that i know a lot of people have already gone through the learning curve in anticipation of this change so there are people that are set up for this. However, I would say that 99% of regular retail investors are not going to put up $65,000 and go through the learning curve of managing this system. So the option that that leaves the rest of the world, it does not exclude them from staking their Ethereum. Ethereum can be staked through an exchange or several other ways. However, this is a buyer beware situation. Okay, I'm just gonna refer to this article that came out also yesterday on twominers.com. Colossal risks of stakers. And I'm gonna focus on this, this right here that they've highlighted. Not your keys, not your coins. So this is a lesson that a lot of people have learned the hard way over the last several months. Whether it be through Celsius or Voyager or some of the other smaller exchanges that have failed, if you are staking your Ethereum and you're handing it over to an exchange or some other group, then you are no longer in control of it. And, and cryptocurrency purists are very serious about not your keys, not your coins. And they're getting more serious about it based on the fact that a lot of people have in fact lost some or all of their money recently. You know, you guys can do your own risk assessment as to what the chance of that is, but just understand there are several exchanges some of them rather high profile that fell short of money and there are right people right now that did not get their money back okay when the merge will be completed has yet to be decided with ethereum developers meeting thursday to discuss the matter the merge has been pushed back several times to accommodate time for further research and tests to ensure a successful implementation. So obviously it is vital that this goes off without a hitch because the entire network is at stake. There are many, many developers working on this and the developers in charge are extremely confident that this will be a seamless transition. So I don't think a lot of people are worried. I don't think there's a high level of risk that the actual network is gonna break down. In other words, if that happens, that would cause a massive disruption in the Ethereum chain. But the consensus is the risk of that is extremely low and, and they're trying to get that as close to zero as possible. So I'm trying to give you guys all the information. Some people are going to leave in the comments that I'm spreading FUD and that kind of stuff. And and some of the, there is fear, uncertainty and doubt surrounding this. There's also great potential surrounding this. I'm not sure which way it's going to go. Again, I've been deep diving into this and I still haven't made up my own mind on which way this is gonna go, perhaps only time will tell. But I do think it's worth talking about the pros and cons. And again, the main pro to this is that it's gonna drastically reduce the amount of energy used to the tune of about 99%. So that is extremely significant. However, it is not gonna do a lot of the other things that people are talking about. It's not gonna make the network faster. It's not gonna make transactions faster or cheaper. There are other changes that are coming that are planned already that will accomplish those goals. So those things are planned, and I do believe those things will happen, but just to be clear, they are not a function of the merge. The merge is just reducing the amount of energy required by changing the method in which Ethereum is validated. Okay, another thing, I'm not gonna read this article, but here's something from Coindesk from yesterday. What's at stake, pun intended, I'm sure. Will the merge turn Ether into a security? So here's a quote. After the merge, there will be a strong case that Ether will be a security. The token in any proof of stake system is likely to be a security, tweeted Georgetown law professor Adam Levitin on July 23rd. So that was several weeks ago. So this is another debate. Obviously, there's a lot of regulations to come. What's going to be a commodity? What's going to be a security? And I will say that I tend to agree, although I have no idea what the outcome of this is, the proof of stake concept does seem to mirror a security a lot more than the proof of work concept. So there's something called the Dewey test. We can do a separate video on that if you guys are interested in that as well. And that is what decides what's a security. And you know, this article here, if you want to read it, it's on Coindesk. It kind of breaks down the Dewey test and, and shows that there's a very strong argument that Ethereum would be considered a security. However, that is yet to be decided and that could be decided in the United States. That could be decided by Congress that could potentially be decided by the SEC. We're waiting on that and we really don't know what the answer to that is, but I bring it up because it is an issue. If this were to be a security, that would be very damaging to the blockchain. Lastly, I just want to talk about the fact that there will be some forks. In other words, 
When the beacon chain merges with Ethereum, the new Ethereum will continue. And however, there are several interested parties that have already expressed the fact that they are going to fork. They're going to hard fork the Ethereum network and continue to use the proof of work model. And they will need to create a new token for that. So the two that have most commonly been mentioned are ETHW for ETH proof of work and ETH POW for ETH proof of work. So this article here on Coindesk, Justin Sun says proof of work is essential part of Ethereum. And he goes on to say he is the creator of Tron. So that is a whole ecosystem in and of itself. It has a stable coin. However, it is an algorithmic stable coin, which is deeply troubling to me. We've already seen where that has led in the past. He has already started a fork. So that fork is going to happen. Probably at least one other fork will happen, if not several. And in addition to that, companies like Hive Blockchain have talked about moving over to Ethereum Classic in the event that this merge goes through. So those are all the different scenarios. There's a lot still in the balance here that is yet to be decided. We're going to have to wait until the merge to see what happens, but I just want to show you the price action on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic because there has been massive movement on both of these in anticipation of this event. Okay, so this is Ethereum on the one day time frame. So if I go from the low on June 18th, so that was almost two months ago, to where we're trading right Right now, midday, Ethereum is up 116% in that period of time. So in, in less than two months, Ethereum's pulled more than a double. So, so cryptocurrency has been getting healthier in general, but Bitcoin is nowhere near keeping pace with this. So this is a gigantic move up in Ethereum. It's definitely, I think, driven by the fact that people think that the merge is imminent. And a lot of investors are looking forward to the merge because I think there's a lot of people planning on staking their Ethereum. To some extent, that's going to take Ethereum off chain for those larger companies that create their own validator nodes. To another extent, it's going to put a lot of Ethereum on chain because people are going to need to participate in pools or through exchanges in order to participate in staking of Ethereum. In any event, so far, the price action has been extremely positive for Ethereum. I just want to look at Ethereum Classic because it is up even more than this. So Ethereum Classic, if I just go from one month ago, July 13th, and now it's August 11th, so that's a little less than one month, Ethereum Classic is up 223%. This could 2x or 5x or 10x and still be significantly smaller than Ethereum. So for the Bitcoin miners, it's going to be down to either using Ethereum Classic or using one of the new forks that I think will happen, one of which I believe has already happened. So, so that is an awful lot of information. Like I said, I'm still digging into this. We don't know when this is going to happen. We've been anticipating it for years, but it does seem to be getting very close to happening. So, so feel free to give us some information on what's going on, what your perspective is. I'd love to hear from you and I would love to do some follow-up videos and get to the bottom of this as we move closer and closer to the merge. So thank you so much for watching. That's all I've got on Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, the merge, etc. for now. So more to follow. I will see you in the next video. Please remember to subscribe and smash the like button and thanks again for watching.